Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Sri Banerjee, Epidemiologist, Biostatistician, Faculty Member. And in this segment, I'm going to be going over a very important topic um, that is uh, uh, black infant mortality. And um, so let's go ahead and get started here. Um, I actually found out about this blueprint uh, from a seminar that was taking place. Um, and the seminar um, is the, the one seminar that I had attended was um, Sound the Alarm, uh, Waking Up to the State of Black Maternal Child Health. So there, there was actually a, um, a really great uh, panel of speakers um, that spoke about this. Um, and one of the things that they brought up was the blueprint that was released by the White House. So I, I got curious and I wanted to um, take a look at what the uh, blueprint entailed. And uh, Kamala Harris, Vice President Kamala Harris has, has actually uh, worked on this and, um, and actually took an important role in this. So this was actually released in um, June of 2022. Um, and there's a number of goals um, always, you know, th and again, this blueprint, just to give you some context, is not um, solely um, uh, taking a look at um, maternal inequality. Um, this is more looking at the general state of um, maternal, maternal health. So what are some of the goals? Um, there's the executive summary letter from Vice President Kamala Harris um, and maternal health ac actions at a glance. This is a 68 page document. So there's quite a few um, important facets over here. So, um, there's actually um, five goals that are described here. Um, goal number one, increase access to and coverage of comprehensive high quality maternal health services, including behavioral health services. And um, uh, connecting this to um, black mortality, sometimes um, certain medications during um, birth, like uh, using epidurals and um, things like that, uh, some of those are not the same as uh, different races. So um, as, as we all know, ethnicity is a social construct. Um, this is not something that was necessarily um, biological, more so how does society view this as? And of course, um, with it comes bias and um, even even to this day. Um, let's see, goal number two, ensure those giving birth are heard and are decision makers in accountable systems of care. Goal number three, advanced data collection, standardization, transparency, research, and analysis. Goal number four, expand and diversify the perinatal workforce. And uh, you'll see this often that there is actually shortages um, in a lot of the workforces in the medical field. And then five, strengthen economic and social supports for people before, during, and after pregnancy. So what I'm going to do is um, take a look at areas where um, black maternal mortality is actually emphasized. So here is um, something um, that was written and um, th this was the one I believe was written by Kamala Harris, this um, segment. What, he sa what she says is that for certain women, the risk is much higher for um, loss and mortality. Um, and even experiencing pain, neglect, and loss. Um, so for certain women, the risk is much higher regardless of income or education level. Black women are three times as likely to die from pregnancy-related complications um, as, as, you know, the general population. So let's take a look at the executive summary. Um, and this provides more insight as to um, how um, black maternal mortality and um, maternal health is neglected. Systemic barriers together with the failure to recognize, respect, and listen to patients of color has meant that black and American Indian women, regardless of income or education, and this is important, regardless of income or education, um, experience a greater share 
of these grave outcomes as do rural women. Here is um, page page seven, and um, here talking about uh, bias and other, and I mentioned that at the beginning, and other structural inequities often result in women and people of color, particularly black women, being treated differently than white women during pregnancy and childbirth. Women report having their pain ignored, requests for help denied, and decisions on medical interventions like labor induction, for example, being made for them. Um, and um, so um, the president's budget in fiscal year 2023 um, was used to help train providers on implicit biases. And this was something that was um, uh, mentioned by the panel, um, as well as culturally and linguistically appropriate care bolster the voice of communities of color when analyzing factors contributing to pregnancy-related deaths, educate and empower more women and families to know the early warning signs of pregnancy-related complications and behavioral health disorders, and make insurance coverage and costs of maternal care transparent and easy to understand. So here's an interesting visual um, that demonstrates the disparities that are there um, between races. And again, this if you're looking at this, um, this is not actual uh, units. Um, this is, well, it is units, um, just that the unit, um, this is pregnancy-related deaths, and the um, rate is uh, per 100,000. So uh, among white women, um, the rate is 13 per 100,000. However, among black win women, 41 per 100,000. And again, um, uh, giving birth at risk is not equally shared between um, black women and white women. Black women are more than three times as likely as white women to die from pregnancy-related causes. Um, and some of the um, same issues kind of um, reoccur um, with income, education, geography, and other socioeconomic factors. There's also systemic barriers um, and the failure to recognize, respect, and listen to patients of color when they express concerns. Continue when when they express concerns continues to contribute to unequal outcomes for Black and. Uh, um, American Indian, um, Alaska Native people in our health system. Um, and similar uh, disparities you can see in um, rural women as well. Um, the CDC reports that the number of maternal deaths per 100,000 live births increased between 2019 and 2020, um, the first year of the pandemic, and increases were greatest for Black and Hispanic women. Um, COVID-19 infection has been found to be associated with increased risk of uh, preterm birth and serious uh, mor morbidity from obstetric complications. Um, the loss of hospital-based services in most prominent and rural communities with a high proportion of black um, residents has um, led to some of the disparities and, and poor outcomes. Um, so to inform the blueprint, um, they solicited input from a range of partners um, and importantly heard from women who have experienced pregnancy and childbirth. Um, there were listening sessions and qualitative research to ensure that actions um, that center the perspectives of those giving birth, particularly Black, Hispanic, and American Indian and immigrant women, so that their voice are an integral foundation for our national policy work. Um, and you, you'll see a lot of the stories alongside the administration's commitments. Um, experts also, so there is um, another uh, reason that is proposed or hypothesized. Ex experts also believe that the chronic stress of discrimination, um, a process known as weathering, take a toll on black 
um, people in ways that results in higher rates of perinatal uh, depression, hypertension, preterm birth, and infant mortality. Um, here's a story here. Um, let me move this so that you're able to see this. Um, this is an account of um, an individual that is a black mother of three. Um, so she said that I had a bout with postpartum depression. I went to the doctors and I didn't realize, um, I didn't realize I um, lose Medicaid coverage in 60 days. I knew it ended, but I didn't know when. And I went to the doctor and they said, I didn't have insurance. And um, there's a mental health crisis that um, President Biden also talked about. Um, taking a look at uh, take, taking a look at some of the percentages of healthcare coverage, um, non-Hispanic Black mothers um, had elevated rates of maternal coverage gaps, um, only at forty four point six percent. Hispanic Spanish speaking uh, seventy nine point five percent, and then. Um, uh, Hispanic English speaking 49.3%. So as you can see, um, black mothers are affected the most out of all of them. Um, and so um, this is higher than the 24.7% um, among uh, white mothers. So there's a lot of um, a lot of um, quotes and stories here as well. Um, another black mother of two, I didn't feel like the OB really understood the risk of my previous hemorrhage during birth. I found myself really having to stress this to her. I spent a lot of time worrying and printing out articles to bring to my OB. She tried to make me feel better, but I had to push a lot. This was a black mother of two. Um, so as you can see, there's discrepancies, there's miscommunication, misunderstanding, um, and, and sometimes even bias. So um, uh, one of the um, one of the areas that um, the panel panelists were proposing um, is to have um, training in um, in the needs of um, other races, um, including and. and more um, importantly, um, among black women. Um, but one important thing is that uh, patients of color um, experience healthcare providers and dismissive of their concerns. Um, and this is confirmed through um, various studies. Here's another, and I'm gonna conclude with this one. Um, there's a lot more important information um, in this blueprint, and I encourage you to um, find this document and um, explore this further. Um, so this is a black mother of one, and she says, there's this culture of just not listening to black women. Most of the time, if someone says they're in pain, they're in pain, they're not making it up. Even if the doctor doesn't have an answer, acknowledging that, like, um, it doesn't make sense. I hear you. That's better than being dismissed. And this was a black mother of one. So there's a, there's a lot of um, important stories, um, uh, perspectives of black women, and also a description, statistics um, that clearly show that um, uh, black women and black maternal mortality is disproportionately higher among not only black women, um, uh, it also is in other um, uh, populations um, uh, such as uh, Native Americans. I hope this has made some sense. Thank you for listening.